If you own a Surrey, you already know they are heavy and require a lot of energy to pedal any long distance and especially up any inclines. The solution is to install an electric motor with pedal assist. The installation of an electric motor with pedal assist on a Surrey can be overwhelming with all the different components and the wiring required to make the connections. However, if you take your time and complete one step at a time, it's not that hard to do. Let me show you how to install one. If you plan to add pedal assist to your Surrey, be sure you do the following. Build your battery pack with quality batteries with at least an 18 amp hour rating. Make sure all wire connections are tight. Always test as you go before moving to the next step. Use a 48 volt with a minimum 500 watt rated hub motor. Use plastic ties to keep all wires tight to the frame. Make sure no wires are loose or hanging. Install a meter that has a speedometer and a battery voltage meter. Purchase a high quality battery charger. Do not waste your money on cheap Chinese chargers. Never connect or disconnect a charger or any wires with the battery pack in the on position. How to build the battery pack. Use a plastic battery box large enough to hold four 12 volt 18 amp batteries. Install a breaker switch to the outside of the battery box. This model is a Chint DZ47-60. It mainly functions as an overload and short circuit protection between the battery pack and the controller when connecting or disconnecting the charger or other wires. Install the first 12 volt 18 amp battery with the terminals facing to the left. Connect the wire from the right side of the breaker and the red main power wire from the charger input terminal to the positive side of the battery terminal. Make sure the terminal nuts and bolts are tight. Use a meter and verify the battery shows the correct voltage. You should get a reading between 12.0 to 12.9 volts. Install the second battery with the terminals facing the same direction as the first battery. Connect a wire from the negative side of the first battery to the positive side of the second battery. Make sure the terminal nuts and bolts are tight. Install the third battery with the terminals facing the same direction as batteries one and two. Connect a wire from the negative side of the second battery to the positive side of the third battery. Make sure the terminal nuts and bolts are tight. Install the fourth battery with the terminals facing to the right. Connect a wire from the negative side of the third battery to the positive side of the fourth battery. Make sure the terminal nuts and bolts are tight. Connect the left wire from the charger terminal and add a second wire about 8 inches long. Connect the wires to the negative side of the fourth battery. Drill two access holes for the negative and positive wires coming from the battery pack. Push the left side wire coming from the breaker through the battery box access hole. Push the wire you added coming from the negative terminal from the fourth battery. These are the positive and negative power leads which will power all of the electrical assist components. Strip the ends of the two wires. Turn the power breaker switch to the on position. Check the voltage coming from the battery pack. Your meter should read between 48 and 52 and a half volts. Turn off the breaker switch. Strip the wires from the two wire connector. Crimp a butt splice on both ends of the wires. Connect the positive wire from the battery pack to the positive wire of the connector. Connect the negative wire from the battery pack to the negative side of the connector. Make sure your butt splice connections are tight and secure to each end of the wires.
Check the voltage with the breaker in the off position. You should get a zero reading. Turn the breaker to the on position. You should get a reading between 48 and 52 and a half volts. Turn the breaker off. Wrap electrical tape around the wires just beyond the exit point of the battery box. This will keep the wires from moving in and out of the access holes. This is a standard three-prong power cord that will connect directly to the battery pack on one end and to the 48 volt charger on the other end. Secure the top of the battery box with screws. After the top is secure, turn on the breaker and check the power again to make sure you have between 48 and 52 and a half volts. I mounted the controller under the seat. The wiring harness connects to the controller. This is where all the electrical connections come from going to the various components to operate the pedal assist. The controller is extremely sensitive to electrical surges and voltage extremes. It is critical the battery power is in the off position when connecting and disconnecting the charger or other wires or you may short out the control unit. The controller and motor receives voltage from the 48 volt battery pack. The controller regulates the voltage to the motor based on the pass demand. The faster you pedal, the faster the motor will turn. The controller also sends data to the meter assembly, including voltage of the batteries and the speed in kilometers. The pedal assist is installed on the left pedal shaft. This unit sends data to the controller based on the number of revolutions per second. The meter assembly is installed on the front frame of the child seat assembly. The controller sends data to the meter. I removed the stock wheel from the Surrey and installed a split phase 48 volt 500 watt electric hub motor. I installed a small 12 volt battery to operate the horn and lights. The horn and light switch is mounted under the child seat directly to the right of the steering wheel. The battery pack is mounted in the rear floor panel. It is held down with straps. The straps connect to U-bolts bolted through the floor in the front and rear of the battery box. Strip the positive and negative main power supply wires coming from the wiring harness. Strip the positive and negative wires from your two wire connector. Crimp a butt splice on both wire ends. Connect a negative wire from the two wire connector to the negative wire from the main wiring harness. Connect the positive wire from the two wire connector to the positive wire from the main wiring harness. Crimp a butt splice on both wire ends. Make sure the butt splices are tight and secure. Wrap electrical tape around 10 inches of the harness wire and the two wire connector to give it more strength. Place the battery pack into position on the rear floor of the Surrey. Connect battery power to the Surrey. Turn the breaker to the on position. Turn the pedal. The rear wheel should power on and operate.
the Surrey is traveling about 17 kilometers per hour, which is approximately 10 and a half miles per hour. On average, the Surrey can travel between 10 and 15 miles per hour based on the terrain. The pedal assist is a great addition for a Surrey. Easy to pedal and easy to go. The Surrey can travel about 15 miles per charge based on the terrain. This is a high quality charger maintainer for the 48 volt battery pack. It can remain plugged in all the time to maintain the batteries and it will not overcharge or overheat the battery pack. Enjoy your Surrey. Thanks for watching.